letter of intent to continue their academic and athletic career at the collegiate level. But this is a very, very difficult and great opportunity that every student athlete has to be able to do that. So we are honored today here at Ridgeview High School to have a special and honestly more, more importantly a student athlete who has the opportunity to continue his academic and athletic career at the collegiate level. My name is Chris Gallagher. I'm the new athletic director at Ridgeview High School. And today we are going to honor Matthew Rodriguez, senior wrestler, right here at Ridgeview High School. Here are some of the accolades that define what kind of athlete Matthew Rodriguez is. He's a four-time FHSA district champion. Three-time regional champion. That's where it starts to get pretty difficult. He's a three-time FHSA state medalist. And he's got one more year, so we're anticipating four and maybe a little more. He even placed as an eighth grader. His career record is 204 wins, eight losses, including 154 pins. That's impressive. Like I said, he's a scholar athlete. He's been an RH Ridgeview High School scholar athlete. He's got an impressive GPA. If I gave it to you, you'd probably say, wow. I mean, it's 3.9 plus. That's impressive. We'd like to thank our administration, Principal Becky Murphy, Assistant Principal Kevin Stacey, Assistant Principal Tanya Auguste, and Lydia Creel. All Ridgeview coaches, teachers, and staff for making this happen. We'd like to thank our special guest for coming, Randy Lefko, Clay today and our Clay County Corridor of Athletics and former Ridgeview Athletic Director, John Scromolo. I'd like to introduce Coach Scromolo to come on up and say a few special words for our special student athlete right here. He'll be followed by Coach Rodriguez and we'll continue with our National Letter of Intent signing. Good morning, Coach Gallagher. Fantastic job. We appreciate it. And um, first off, I just uh, want to say that I'm super humbled that Matt has uh, asked me to come speak on this uh, just monumentous day for him and his family. Um, just a little bit of backstory about Matt and, and coming to Ridgeview High School. I, I, I remember my second or third year uh, before I was the athletic director, uh, we were trying really, really hard to get Bryson Barker from Lake Asbury Junior High to come over and be the head coach of Ridgeview. Um, Coach Barker and I played junior high baseball together, so I've known him for a really long time, and, and he's a really close friend. And we finally got him to Ridgeview, and uh, when he came over, he told me, he goes, John, there is a kid coming from Lake Asbury Junior High that might possibly be the best wrestler in Clay County history. And uh, I was like, man, that's a pretty big, uh, pretty big claim, and uh, boy, was he right. Um, just for those of you that don't know, wrestling is not the biggest sport uh, in, in Florida, much like football and baseball and those types of sports. It's kind of a kind of a different sport, but the four schools that Matt will be choosing from today would be the equivalent of a football player choosing to sign at in Alabama, a Clemson, a University of Florida. These are really, really high caliber wrestling schools. This morning, I called a lot of my uh, wrestling contacts, some athletic directors, some wrestling coaches that have been around for a really long time. And I asked them, I said, it, you know, these four schools, have we ever had a Clay County wrestler that signed to a school of this magnitude? And uh, it was unanimous. No one, was ever, well, no one was, has been able to tell me a wrestler in Clay County that has signed to a school of this magnitude. So it's, it's uh, definitely exciting. One thing that's important to remember about Matt Rodriguez is Matt's not lucky. I think a lot of times when people uh, when people sign scholarships, sometimes amongst their friends, they, they hear people say, oh, well, he's just lucky. 
That man right there is not lucky. He earned it. He earned every single bit of this opportunity. One of my favorite quotes is that smooth seas don't make skilled sailors. If you guys, uh, some of you that are real close to Matt, understand, uh, and tight in the wrestling community, understand the grind that Matt and, uh, and his dad, Mark, have put themselves through for Matt to get to this point. Uh, just consistently uh, training and, and traveling all over the country um, with some of the best coaches and some of the best um, tournaments and competitions. But most of all, uh, you know, the, there's a big, there's another big quote: "The only easy day was yesterday." And I really think that uh, Matt kind of lives that. He just cons consistently works hard on a daily basis. The last thing I'm going to say about Matt is this. He made the most of his student athlete experience. As an athletic director, that's the number one goal that I challenge every single one of you students sitting in the crowd today to do. You have to make the most of your student athlete experience. How did Matt do that? He was involved. He was consistently involved. One of my uh, favorite stories about Matt was I walked into the cafeteria one day during homecoming week, and uh, Friday we always had the blue and, blue and white spirit day, blue and black spirit day, and there's this guy walking around the uh, cafeteria in a blue morph suit with a Ridgeview shirt on and this big old panther head. Like it was an actual like mascot head. And I'm like, that's school spirit. I didn't know who it was. He lifted up the panther head. It was Matt Rodriguez. So that just speaks to uh, his pride. Uh, he's very involved in his church. He's been a, he's been integral in the athletic leadership council at this school. And um, you know. Uh, it's just, it's so awesome to be a part of and to, to watch. And lastly, I will say this. Most of us get into education to have impacts on young people's lives. Um, but this guy right here has flipped the script, uh, had a huge impact on my life, and he will be a guy that I will remember uh, till the end of time. So uh, with that being said, Matt, couldn't be more proud of you. And I know a lot of people are excited to see uh, where you're going to end up. But most of all, congratulations. And now we'll bring up head coach and father. It's got to be a proud father, Bart Rodriguez. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, I really appreciate uh, everyone who took the opportunity to come here. Um, I, I know it's tough to, to leave the classes and, and come out to something like that. But we, we really do appreciate you being here. Um, I'll keep it short, I promise. Um, but I, I think Matt has a lot to say uh, and a lot of people to, to thank on his journey. Uh, but I'll just give a, a, quick, a, a quick synopsis of, of what he what happened in, in Matt's career. Um, we started out in Pennsylvania when I, was, when I was actually stationed in Pennsylvania. And Matt was actually really into football. Uh, he, he loved football. All he talked about was uh, playing football and you know possibly even in college, even at, at, at such a young, young age. Um, so uh, me actually being a, a, a collegiate football player was, okay, let's do this then. Uh, somehow he actually uh, took a turn uh, and found the love of wrestling, uh, which was actually difficult because I knew nothing about wrestling. Um, so, you know, one of the things that, you know, I talk to parents about and, you know, even some of the athletes, when, when parents talk to me about what can I do to help my student athlete become better? It's a really easy answer. It's become involved. If you're involved, whether you're supporting him or her wherever she's at, whatever, whatever she decides to do, he decides to do, or you actually learn the sport. And that was one of the challenges that I had when Matt started wrestling, because just like him, I knew nothing about the sport. Um, so when people ask, well, how do you know so much, Coach? Well, we learned together. We went to camps. We trained with some of the best around the country. And I was his practice dummy. So I mean, you think about this over quite a few years. I studied film. He studied film. And he practiced on me. And if it didn't hurt, it wasn't right. So to this day, that's why I'm in a lot of pain because of his practice moves. Um, but that's how, actually that's how, how we train. Um, we very, he's very technical. Uh, I try to actually go over the same thing with my athletes. 
Uh, we don't train to beat the average wrestler, we train to beat the stud, and that's what's important. But this is his day. Um, it was a crazy ride the last month and a half. Uh, it still is, uh, because he's actually going to say who he chose. And even last night, we, we got a call from, from Iowa uh, asking if he committed yet. So it was, it was strange, um, but it's, it's, I was very appreciative. Uh, it's a very humbling uh, type of experience, but it's exciting too. So uh, with that said, uh, I know a lot of people say, well, you know, you're his dad and stuff like that. Uh, if you know some of the wrestlers, I'm as hard on Matt as any wrestler in the room. He gets no privileges. Um, so, uh, but he works hard. And we have a lot of, we have a lot of great wrestlers in North Florida. And that's one of the things that Coach Gromo talked about. North Florida is a wealth of great athletes and definitely really good wrestlers. And I don't think that North Florida gets the credit that they deserve. Um, and they have to work a little bit harder. And my advice to you is keep working, keep working. You don't need other people to, you know, uh, speak up on you. You can speak up on your own just by showing what you can do. Uh, because uh, Matt's an example, and there are a lot, a lot of other athletes uh, that came before Matt that are in college now and just knocking down the door. And there's going to be a lot more to follow. So just keep working hard, stay in the books, because if you want that D1 scholarship, you got to keep up the grades. There's no way, way around that. So thank you again for coming. Uh, you know, again, it's an exciting moment, and we're going to leave this off to Matt. Great words of inspiration, Coach Rodriguez. This is Matt's day. We're excited, ladies and gentlemen. Let's find out where Matthew Rodriguez will be continuing his academic and athletic career for the next four years.
first wrestling match, the first class, the first girlfriend, the second girlfriend, the third girlfriend, the figuring out that I was the problem. Yet, it was all for the best in building my character and helping me to become a better person. Friends, faculty, family, I've had the pleasure and honor to say Go Panthers for the past four years, but now it's time to flip a new page, enter a new chapter in my life, and continue my athletics and academics to the next level. Now I am proud to announce my commitment to Division I Lehigh University. Lehigh has always been a great fit for me. Since the beginning, the coaches at Lehigh treated me more like a family member than just a number. However, it's not just the athletics that led me to choose Lehigh. It was the comfortability that I felt with the campus, as well as the degree that I truly needed for my future. In addition, Lehigh is indeed top 10 for Division I, and has, in my opinion, the best coaching in the country. But in the end, Lehigh is the perfect place for me. I hope not just to represent the Panther family well, but to also represent the Lehigh family well. Go Hawks. Congratulations, Matthew. Impressive school, impressive student athlete. We are excited for Matthew, and we know he's going to have a continued great career in Pennsylvania at Lehigh University. Uh, at this time, we'd like to start with our picture taking, and um, that will begin with Matthew and his parents right here, and then we'll take a couple pictures there. We'll follow that by Matthew, his parents, the principal, and the athletic director. And then we'll have uh, special guests and teammates who'd like to take a picture with Matthew as well, right up here on stage. If you could please push in your chairs as we get ready for lunch to start uh, chilling, we'll have plenty of space up here for pictures. <laughs> <laughs> 